I love Greek food. And actually, this dish is very close to my heart because my husband's mother, who was Italian, not Greek, <laughs> used to make this. But tell me all about pasticcio. Pasticcio is the Greek version of a lasagna. That's the yeah. way I see it. So yeah. my wife That's is Greek. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. And I've actually... It's close to my heart too. Yeah. But I change this up a little bit. I have the argument with my father-in-law right. about this dish. But not we'll get into that. Have, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so good. We need to get into this because yeah, it takes lovely. a little bit of time. So we're using San Remo Kells. Yeah, we lovely. need to make our like bolognese sauce, yeah, I call lovely. it. So I'll get you to try dice that up for no me. No problem, I can do that. And I'll chop up the garlic. Yep. So my little spin on this, Zoe, is that I'm using yeah. lamb mince. Normally it would be with beef mince, yep. but by adding that lamb, it gives this beautiful taste. Mm. No, nice, nice alternative. So it's interesting because having obviously seen people make this recipe a lot, I, I actually personally have never made it. Really? But um, I'm sure you've I've, eaten it. A few I've times. eaten it lots. There's nothing better when it caramelises on top. Oh, yum. But um, I've seen lots of different versions of this. So I've seen people use it with lentils instead, like a vegetarian really? version. Yeah, and it, it turns out really, really tasty. Lentils? So, well, because the lentils obviously has the, 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 the texture, okay. you know, as a, sort of a meat, and you still do the bechamel and you still make it exactly as you would with all the other things in there. Okay, yeah, you're it's teaching nice. me something new there. That's all right. Don't judge. I like it. So, onion straight into the pan, oh, garlic as well. Get that frying off. Beautiful. A little bit of salt to help break down the onions. Cool. Okay. Now, a couple cloves as well. So yeah. Greeks use a lot of cloves in their cooking. Nice. I love cloves. It's got yeah. that lovely sort of almost sort of aniseed flavour to it. It's mm. beautiful. Three of them into there, like yeah. so. Uh, a couple fresh bay leaves as well. Nice. Yeah. We'll Greek food, like Greek and Italian food are very similar. Yes. Okay. Greeks use cloves, <laughs> cinnamon, you and say bay that leaves. To any Greek I know. Look, I live in both worlds. All right. You Mum's do, Italian, my wife's Greek, so yeah, I can say yeah, I can get so away with true. this. All right, onions are looking good. Yeah. In beautiful. with the lamb mince. Now just break it up a little bit just to help the cooking process. Yeah, I like it. So obviously you are the master of Greek food because you've got a Greek restaurant in, in Adelaide, Adelaide yes. and you've got an Italian restaurant in Sydney. So yeah. identity crisis? If yeah, you know. a little bit. You know, like I said, I live in both worlds. So Zucker in Adelaide and Lot yeah. 1 in Sydney. Yeah, how uh, exciting. It is, you know, and sometimes I make this for the boys in Sydney. You know, yeah. They laugh at me. Yeah. They say, oh, yeah, what's this, making a Greek dish at an Italian restaurant? <laughs> now, just using the wooden spoon, just yeah. breaking down all the mints. Yeah, and that is the thing. You've got to keep sort of moving that, keep cooking it. You don't yeah. want to sort of hold it to clumps. And break it all up. You want to caramelise it, get the colour into the mince, you yeah. know, get all the flavour happening. Okay, so we need to brown off the lamb. That's going yep. to take about three to five minutes. Okay. At that point, you add in the red wine. Yep. Reduce that by half. Okay. And then in with the tomato passata and let it cook for about 20 minutes. And you, are you reduce it by half because it burns the alcohol? Yeah, it cooks out with the oh, alcohol. Cool. All right, Zoe. Yes. Our sauce is on the back, just I simmering away, cooking, nice. reducing down all the flavours coming Smells together. Good. Now we need to get the pasta in the pot. Cool. San Remo Kells. Now, if you don't have Kells, you could use yeah. penne or maybe uh, rigatoni as well. Yeah, love it. One. Oh, rigatoni, that'd be nice as well. Classically, in Michael's household, they always use penne. Really? Yeah, always penne, always. nothing else. But occasionally, they'd use a noodle. Now we need to make yeah. a bechamel. So I've got some milk warming away there. Yeah. We need to infuse it with an onion. Yep. Some cloves. Uh, peppercorns and some yeah. bay leaf. Beautiful. So you let that slowly come to the boil. We need to make a roux, so flour and butter. So another pot on. Yep, a little bit of butter. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. You need this, okay? This is your cheesy I sauce. Know, this is your white I sauce. Know. So melt that down. Then we'll add in enough flour, basically, just to bind it all together. Yep. Cook out your roux. You don't want to get any colour yeah. to it. You want it to be blonde, so it's yep. a blonde okay, roux, cool. okay? Then we basically pour in the milk and slowly work it through with a whisk. Yep. So that way you get no lumps. So a little bit at a time helps you get that silky smooth nice. bechamel. Yep, beautiful. Nice. Bechamel, super smooth. Yeah, done. <laughs> Pasta, in with all the curls. Cook nice and al dente. Yep. Love it. And I like the curls. It's a bit more, bit more playful and all those. Yeah, How sure, no problem. So normally, like my father-in-law would say, you got to take the bay leaves out. But me, I like to do it just to stir them. I leave it in my pasticcio, all right? Because it's always him that gets you the piece that of the you, bay leaf. You shouldn't be saying this on air. That's all right. <laughs> we have a good relationship. Don't worry. Oh, perfect. Now is nice. that enough for you? Yeah, definitely. So yeah, great. I'll pick her up and just straight. Nice. Let me help you with that. Oh. Nice. Look at that. And you can really see um, that red wine. It's really coloured, the pasta sauce. Yes. So now you just got to compact oh. it down so you can make a layer. Okay, bechamel on top. Oh. So I'm just going to... Oh, mm. look at that. That's why you need a nice, thick, 
thick bechamel. And if it goes over the sides, that's even better. That's the <laughs> flavour and the one that you know you sit around and fight for. So into an oven, hot oven about 200 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes, so it's nice and browned on top, and then we eat. Beautiful. Wow, that is impressive. Even the little bits over the sides. All right, dig into it. I want to see it. Look at that, nice. Oh, it's steaming hot. Beautiful. This is one. Get a big spoonful. Wow. And pastizio for me is always better the day after. Yeah. Always oh, cold. But don't you think all bolognese and so many of those rich pasta sauces oh, yeah. are better the next day? Definitely. This looks great. This looks really yummy. Mm. Oh. That lamb sauce is fantastic. Great. This is absolutely delicious. You know what? That corner is definitely for me. Maybe that corner, that corner, that corner as well. No sharing. <laughs> no sharing. <laughs>